Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play where in 30 minutes the Queen will be awake. But we're not going to wait for her. That's right guys, we're going to gem her awake right now. And I just by talking for a couple of seconds I saved myself a gem because I literally just looked and it was going to cost me 11 gems. So what if I back up and try again? Nope, it's 10. Okay, so we're going to use 10 gems, wake the Queen up and then use our very first royal cloak ability in this series and i'm really excited about it because it's just so fun all right that's the only reason it's just so fun so let's upgrade or finish the queen right now in three two one bam 10 gems dude 10 flipping gems i mean you get that many out of bushes and trees on a daily basis so actually speaking of trees i've got a whole bunch of trees to get rid of <laughs> so yeah anyway today is going to be a good day because we have one builder available I can use that on a big major upgrade or upgrade the queen again if we happen to get enough dark elixir. I'm a little ways away. I need 32,500 and I've got 26,000. So what is that like four, five, six thousand off or something like that. So we're going to have to find some major, major raids to build upgrade the queen. Otherwise, there's other important things to do. And then, dude, we have four builders that are going to be done tomorrow at this time. Look at that. So tomorrow is really the major day that we're going to need a ton of loot. Either way, it is time, guys. It is time to get in there and um, and get some raids going. So let's just smack a base. I've got um, I've got my CC, I've got my E drag, of course. And like I said, our major focus will be dark elixir. But I just I don't think it's reasonable to expect three thousand dark elixir in two separate raids as a brand new town hall nine. I mean, I might get search and find two dead town hall tens, but it might take me all day long. I'd much rather just be patient. Just be patient and wait and upgrade it tomorrow because I'm guaranteed by then I will have the Dark Elixir necessary. So either way, we'll see. Ooh, that's a lot of Dark Elixir. Um, but notice, okay, so this is one of those moments where Greed could have got me. 400,000 Golden Elixir, but the, the Collectors of the Mines really aren't that full. Most of that's loose in the storages. So we're going to skip that. Also, I don't know if you noticed that, but that Town Hall was upgrading and those walls were terrible. That person was rushing. No bueno. But anyway, let me find the perfect barge base, guys. And um, there, wow. Elixir. Do we want, do we need, do we need a lot of elixir? You know what? I can't, I can't pass up half a million elixir. I mean, that's the whole point for barge, right? The whole point is to just build a, break in all of the, of the elixir necessary for a brand new town hall level. That's why barge is so amazing. So let's do it. Half a million gold. No, not half a million gold. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Half a million elixir on this base, and I bet you we're gonna get all of it. As soon as this elixir collector goes down, there's gonna be a lot less left. Yep, 36,000 elixir left, and it looks like uh, all that's probably sitting in these storages over here. So this is one of those rare occasions where I actually don't need to use my heroes. I really don't need to use my um, my anything. It's pretty awesome. I can just get in, get out, get gone, and and profit a ton of loot so i'm gonna go ahead and back out and we won the raid which is good and with the loot bonus guys nearly half a million elixir easy peasy i love it i freaking love it dude oh also i forgot to mention i am bringing heal spells with me occasionally they come in handy um so that's you know that's like if like the e-drag is approaching something amazing and epic that is when I like to use my um, my heal spell. I'll, I'll heal the E-Drag if I really, really need to. But check out this latest raid, guys. I mean, it was a, um, and not even a dead. Oh, yeah, it is a dead. A dead Town Hall 9, brand new Town Hall 9. All the loot really is on the collectors in the mines, but also I really wanted, and there was a lot of Dark Elixir on this base, and this is, this actually kind of ticked me off a little bit, okay? This was stressful for me, and here's why. Because the E-Drag, oh, I poisoned the enemy queen. Get that king, get that king down, guys. Come on, get that king down. Bam, get some. All right, so anyway, um, this was stressful for me because the E-Drag has really unpredictable pathing, okay? That's one of the worst parts about having an Electro Dragon. So right now, we got a lot of Dark Elixir, and actually this mortar is about to shut down the archers there. So we got almost all the Dark Elixir out of that drill. Now the Dark Elixir is sitting in the collect in the um, Dark Elixir drill, or storage right there, sorry. The Dark Elixir storage is in the middle. So I went ahead, I put down an E-Drag, and my thoughts were it would follow the chain of buildings, right? It would go for the cannon next. And then after that, it would go for the gold storage. And then after that, it would go for the e the uh, air defense. But the chain lightning takes out that air defense, which was confusing. Um, made sense, though. I mean, the storages have a ton of health. But then I thought, okay, cool, whatever. It'll take out the, the expo, and then it will go toward 
the Dark Elixir storage, right? I mean, it looks like that's where it should go, but no, it's going to go down toward the gold storage. So it's really hard to predict where the Dark or the E Drag is going to go. Um, never made it into the Dark Elixir storage. I got excited there for a second because I thought maybe the um, air defense would get taken down by the chain lightning and then maybe we'd have another chance at the Dark Elixir storage, but it didn't happen. So, one of my, yeah, that's one of the things I don't like about the E Drag. I'm pretty sure somebody who's an expert at Electro Dragons. Um, could probably use it a little bit better, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just a lowly Town Hall 9 getting my barch on. All right. That's what that's where we're at right now in this series. So I have a bush I need to take out. Goodbye, bush. All right. So I guess um, let's do it again. And this time, again, I, I didn't have to use my heroes or my E drag. So that was kind of nice. Um, we've given up basically on getting the Dark Collection to upgrade the Queen today, but that's fine. We can do something else. It's all good. And um, I have a feeling that because I have so much gold and I have so much elixir that today we are probably going to be seeing some major wall progress. And that's good. That's great. Again, I mentioned it last episode, but because there are two levels, two levels in the walls as a Town Hall 9, you have to max them all once and then upgrade them all again to max. Um, yeah, doing getting on top of the wall grind early is very, very advantageous. So, um, ooh, Dead Town Hall 10. The loot's decent, but I could probably search a little bit longer and find something even better. Oh, another one! Oh my goodness! Look at look at the elixir collectors. They are they are full, man. Look at that. Ooh, we're gonna get some more elixir. All right, let's get some more elixir. Let's go. Boom. Barbarians down. Now this one has really full elixir storages too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably going to target one of those with my king, my queen, and my electro dragon. And oh no. We have some, yeah, I'm gonna poison over the max balloon. These balloon, oh, there's a max, there's a balloon over there too. Okay, what can we do to fix this situation? Um, <laughs> oh no, oh no, okay, come on, don't get my, okay. Well, the balloons are killing all my troops. Fantastic, well, we already won the raid, so I guess now we can decide on how we wanna use our heroes. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could go for the dark elixir storage, like get a drill and then get a storage. Yeah, that may be the best way. Alright, so King, Queen. Oh, and we're going to use our very first Royal Cloak ability today. Are you guys ready? I'm going to wait. Actually, I'm going to pop my King's ability, try to get him through that wall. Right quick. And then I'm likely going to need my Queen's ability to save her from the balloons. So let's go ahead and pop that ability. And bam! That balloon goes down so fast that was amazing let me actually drop a heal maybe if the king survives the heal will keep him alive longer yes very very nice i love okay so max balloons are so deadly to like uh to like a ground troops and stuff in, a, in the cc like max balloons in the client castle are really one of the worst things you can find and i love how we used that um ability <laughs> to save us from those balloons like that was really cool that was really um poetic you ask me. So that was awesome. Now the queen on her own takes out the dark elixir out of the storage. And now she is working on an elixir storage. So this is great. This is good. Now the only thing that would make this even better would be if the queen was to get the town hall. I'm going to go ahead and drop a heal. Maybe she'll be able to survive if she's got a heal on her. And oh man. Yeah, she's struggling right now. No, she's not going to be able to survive. And I don't want to keep wasting heal spells on the queen. Yes, I do. Go queen. Yo queen. You got this girl. Come on. Heal. Heal, baby. Heal. Get that town hall. Come on. Jeez, she's so weak. Oh, this is killing me. Get that town hall. Come on. Come on. Yes. Two star, baby. Two star, baby. That was awesome. Now, we didn't miss out on a lot of loot still, but we got a ton. Over, well over half a million elixir that time. That was awesome. And a little bit of dark elixir. Again, no big deal. We're working primarily on elixir with Barch. So that was, that was awesome. I, I, I really do like, one, that royal cloak was amazing, right? But two... And this may be even more important, is that um, I love that we're able to profit so much elixir. Look at that. I mean, we have 7 million elixir right now and only one builder available. This is crazy stuff. And again, like last time, I told you guys, I love, or used to love, I don't really do this that much anymore, but I used to love having max storages every time a builder comes available. So we don't quite do that, but this is pretty dang close. Hello, and I just got a builder available with that queen. So again, if I wanted to upgrade the queen, 32,500, I can't do that, so we're, we're gonna store up the dark elixir. So the next step is the elixir. What can I upgrade with the elixir that would be the most beneficial? Now I do have um, barracks and dark barracks upgrading right now, one of each. So I could technically probably go ahead and upgrade the dark barracks 
of the second dark barracks going to level five and it would have another upgrade after that that would probably be the most beneficial thing that i could do because upgrading barracks and dark barracks are terrible especially the barracks because it just slows me way down um, but also, I, I like the idea of just getting them over with, and I'm not using Dark Troops, so I think that using this Dark Barracks, or using the 5th Builder on this Dark Barracks right now would be the most beneficial thing we could do. So, 2.5 million Elixir, that means that I've got a lot extra still remaining. I've got tons, I've got a little bit in the tre- I've got a lot in the treasury. Oh my goodness, over a million, or on nearly a million. So, I guess, um, I'll collect this. I will probably max my Elixir, yeah. Okay. So let's upgrade some stuff with the elixir. I have two and a half million. So that means I could technically spend five and a half million right now. And that is, wow, exactly how many walls we have. That is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and pour all this elixir into walls in three, two, one, bam. Don't worry, guys. I know you're probably thinking, whoa, you're going way too low, my friend. You're about to have four builders available. Aren't you going to want that elixir for those four builders? Don't worry. I'll have it for tomorrow. Don't worry. It's all good. So let's upgrade. No, wait, no. Don't upgrade yet. I still need to spend gold. All right, so gold will then now go into our walls once again. So I'm thinking maybe this many. Let's just spend it all, guys. Wow, that, that worked out perfect. I'm getting so good at guessing how many walls I need to pick out. So 7.5 million gold. I have 7.8 max I could spend on walls because of the 500,000 intervals is 7.5. So this works out perfect. Let's spend all of our gold on the walls in three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right. And then last but certainly not least, let's upgrade this dark barracks and get it going. Two and a half million gold. Three, two, one. Bam. Nice. All right. So now we pretty much have no loot left. Um, we have the dark elixir to be prepared to upgrade the queen to level six tomorrow. Um, we got three days left on the lab. So really no reason to worry about that. And um, we will definitely be wanting to upgrade this dark elixir storage to max tomorrow too. So you know what I'm going to be doing in between episodes, guys. I'm going to be grinding out the Barch raids. And I'm going to be trying my very best to get as much elixir as possible. Because how cool would it be? And this, this might sound crazy, okay? But bear with me for a second. Now we have um, four builders coming up tomorrow, right? One of them will go into the queen, so I'll have three left. So what if we went ahead and just got these three barracks upgrades over with? That would be three days with only one barracks working, but then it would be done in three days. I think that'd be kind of cool. And um, our dark barracks, well, our dark barracks are upgrading right now too, so that might not work out. Either way, I'm going to need a ton of elixir regardless, no matter what we choose to do. So I think that I just need to think about it as I go and will be here tomorrow to see what we do. So guys, epic, epic day for us today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I mean, again, the first Royal Cloak ability, so fun. Tons of loot went into walls. I mean, we did like 20 walls or something crazy. So that's awesome. And then of course, getting a barracks, or I'm sorry, a dark barracks upgrade done too. Anytime you can do an offense building upgrade, it is a huge, huge victory. I mean, notice we maxed out our army camp super fast and that is a huge victory too. And that was a while back. How long ago? Like three episodes ago or something? I don't know. But it was very, very fast. Very, very early in our Town Hall 9 Let's Play series. But guys, that's going to have to do it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. Thank you all so much for tuning in, by the way. Like this video if you liked it and if you're excited about having a level 5 queen. Also, hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily Clash of Clans gaming videos and to join the Klaus family. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.